What is it that makes riding special? What separates it from all other forms of transport? There's a feeling that every rider knows deep down. It can be put into words, but it's something you can't really explain to an outsider. It's something that must be experienced to be known. Today is Wednesday, and once again we're going for a group ride. We're heading to Tude Sur, south of Stockholm. Over the past week, the city has been drenched in rain, drizzling, grey, annoying rain that goes on and on day after day. But mercifully, there's a break in the weather, and what's more, summer has finally arrived, and the barren trees and grey wilted grass have given way to verdant forests and lush fields. And those trees? They're the ones that hold the secret to what makes riding special. On a cycle, the frame is gone. You're completely in contact with it all. You're in the scene, not just watching it anymore. And the sense of presence is overwhelming. That's from the opening chapter of Robert Persick's Zen and the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance. It's something every rider knows in his bones. Those words speak to an existential truth. Out here in the forest, I can smell the pines. I can smell the flowers and the rich, wet soil. I feel the sun on me. Somewhere nearby, a wood-burning stove fills the air. All of it's so close, you can reach out and touch it. This is what makes riding special. Never mind the thrill of scraping pegs. Never mind the power and acceleration. Never mind how cool your jacket looks. What really makes it special is that. The connection with the world around you. That's something no car can replicate.
In a car, you're passing nature by. On a bike, you're in nature. Your view is unobstructed by panels, A-beams, a roof. Look up, and the sky is there. Put down your foot, and you're on solid ground. Soon enough, the bike disappears, becomes part of you, and then you're flying. It's ironic that fire, steel, and gasoline are among the things that bring me closest to nature. But it's true. Out here, at the end of the road, this is where everything else fades away and only your senses remain. There is no pavement. There is no bike. There is no me. Only the trees remain.